What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my review of Drunken Goats, which is a card-based drinking game. Now of course, this game is meant for those who are old enough to drink legally and responsibly, so keep that in mind. Now without further ado, let's get started. Drunken Goats was originally launched as a Kickstarter project and then became a reality after it received support from 100 backers. This game is meant to be a fast-paced game, with it usually taking less than 10 minutes to finish a round. In my opinion, that is the perfect amount of time, because when people are playing a drinking game, they usually do not have the patience to commit to a lengthy game. Also, it makes it a lot easier to play multiple games. Now, the actual game itself comes in a compact box, which is made possible because it's a card-based game. Drunken Goats was kind enough to also send me a bunch of accessories. These accessories included two shot glasses, a sticker, a bottle opener, and finally, a t-shirt. These accessories are high quality, and Drunken Goats offers a variety of different packages on their website where you can bundle these accessories with the game. Now the premise of this game is that the creator was tired of playing drinking games that were overly complex because, as you can imagine, complexity and intoxication don't mix. Luckily, he fulfilled his mission of simplicity with Drunken Goats. Essentially, there are two different types of cards in this game. These cards include alcohol cards and action cards. There are four different types of alcohol cards, which include beer, wine, whiskey, and tequila. The strategic element in this game comes in with the action cards. The action cards feature different moves that the players can take advantage of to advance their position in the game or to suppress the progress of their opponents. Then, there are three piles for the cards. These piles include the goat pile, the discard pile, and the draw pile. Each player has their own goat pile, and this pile contains their pairs of alcohol cards. The discard pile is where the cards go after they've been used as actions or traded in alcohol cards. Finally, the draw pile is used to end a player's turn or to fulfill action card requirements. Now let's discuss the gameplay in more detail. There are two different ways that the game can be played pertaining to how the alcohol is consumed. There's basic, which consists of drinking from your one beverage every time an opposing player plays a pair of alcohol cards, either as a need pair or as an exchange for draw cards. There's also advanced, which consists of opposing players drinking drinks that match their played alcohol cards. This might not be the best idea though, if you're wanting to be productive in the following morning. As mentioned before, the actual games themselves are short and they span for 3 to 15 minutes. I've found that games with more players go longer than games with less players. Finally, the game is won by having one pair of each alcohol card. Pretty simple. So essentially, it's your goal to collect all of the pairs of alcohol cards, but you can and should use the action cards to obstruct your opponents. Now I think it is important to address the time and detail that was put into developing this game. I was extremely impressed with the quality of the materials in regards to both the physical quality and the artistic touch that was put into the illustrations. Drunken Goats clearly put a lot of time into developing the characters to make the game extra unique. It seems like nowadays, everything is so commoditized and I really appreciate the artistic creativity and effort that was put into the design and style of the cards and the various game accessories. I would love to see these characters incorporated into future games by the creator of Drunken Goats. I really think there's a lot of potential to expand this franchise into other drinking games. I also feel like there's a lot of potential for growth in the drinking game industry, and hopefully this game is the first of many under the Drunken Goats brand. For now though, we can appreciate and enjoy Drunken Goats. In conclusion, I was very impressed with this game. One of the problems that I found is that when I have a group of friends over for drinks, we often get bored and are often looking for things to do. It's really nice being able to play a game as a group that is not only fun and strategic, but also aligns with our evening goals of drinking and having fun. Like I mentioned before, this game is for those who are old enough to legally drink. So what do you think? Could you see yourself playing Drunken Goats with your friends? I want to know. And thank you for watching this video. Check out the link in the video description to buy this game for yourself. 
please feel free to leave any questions that you might have in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.